Hi. Using the options which we have covered till now, we will now learn to create a basic floor plan. As best practices are supposed to be carried on and maintained, we will go into format and units and check the unit of measurement. Architectural and the scale is inches. Click on OK and click on the line tool to begin. Click over here. Since ortho is on, it's drawing perpendicular lines and I will leave it to that. The first measurement which I am going to punch in is 10 feet. 10 feet, enter. Enter again to exit the command. If you notice my line has gone outside my page. I will now double scroll to bring my line within visible limits and then move my scroll bar towards me in order to resize. Click on the line tool, come to the end point, click over here and the next line is 6 feet. 6 feet. Now move your mouse upwards and draw a line of 2 feet. Towards the right, 10 feet. Towards the right, 4 feet. My basic job over here is to move my mouse in the desired direction and keep punching in my measurements. I am going to pan it downwards by double clicking and then moving the mouse inwards in order to resize. Move the mouse upwards 8 feet. Double scroll. Now we can continue drawing. Click over here 2 feet out. Take it up 9 feet. Take it inwards another 2 feet, press the mouse scroll down and move the object down, take it up, 8 feet, towards the left a 10 feet, take it up, 5 feet, towards the left 10 feet, more towards the left 12 feet, take it down 5 feet, towards the left 4 feet, down again, 6 feet, 11 feet down, move inwards, 6 feet, take it down, 8 feet and the last 2 feet. Press enter to exit. If the object turns out to be a proper close object, then your plan is right or else you may have made a minor error on the way. Now we will use the line tool in order to create the rooms for the floor plan. Click over here, click over here, press enter. Cl press enter again to execute the command, click and click here, press enter. Now go up over here, press enter and you will see an endpoint. This endpoint is a junction point between 12 feet on the left and 10 feet on the right. Click and then come down and click again in order to create further bifurcations for the rooms. Press enter again to repeat the command. There's an endpoint over here. This endpoint is a division between 6 feet on the top for the toilet and 11 feet down for the master bedroom. Click here and click here. This small area is our toilet. This is our bedroom. Down here you have your master bedroom. Click here and click here. This area is the veranda. Click over here, come down, click again. This is our dining room. And on top over here, we have our kitchen and our drawing room down here. Our guest room is over here to the left hand side. While this bifurcation between 10 feet and 4 feet is the bifurcation between the guest room and the toilet. This is the front veranda area. And now I'm going to create over here an area for the steps. This is our first and basic floor plan. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching.